Cambridge IELTS 9 by University of Cambridge ESOL Examinations Published by Cambridge University Press This recording is copyright. CD 1 Test 1 You will hear a number of different recordings and you will have to answer questions on what you hear. There will be time for you to read the instructions and questions and you will have a chance to check your work. All the recordings will be played once only. The test is in four sections. At the end of the test, you will be given ten minutes to transfer your answers to an answer sheet. Now turn to section one. Section 1 You will hear a man phoning to inquire about a job vacancy. First, you have some time to look at questions 1 to 4. You will see that there is an example that has been done for you. On this occasion only, the conversation relating to this will be played first. Good evening, King's Restaurant. Uh, good evening. I'm ringing about the job I understand you have vacant. Oh, yes. The job vacancy is at a restaurant, so. A restaurant has been written in the space. Now we shall begin. You should answer the questions as you listen, because you will not hear the recording a second time. Listen carefully and answer questions 1 to 4. Good evening, King's Restaurant. Uh, good evening. I'm ringing about the job I understand you have vacant. Oh, yes. I'd like to find out a few more details, if I may. Yes, of course. Can I take your name? It's Peter Chin. OK, Peter. Well, if you want to ask about the job, and then if we're both still interested, we could arrange for you to come for an interview. <laughs> <laughs> Great, thanks. I'm afraid I missed the advert for the job, but heard about it from a friend. That's no problem at all. What would you like to know? Well, um, what sort of work is it? Washing up? It's answering the phone. Oh, right, fine. And not waiting at table. That'd be good. And how many nights a week would it be? Well, we're really only busy at the weekend. So, two nights? Three, actually. So it would work out at 12 hours a week. That'd be fine. It wouldn't interfere with my studies. Are you at the university? Yes. First year physics student. Oh, right. Um, and because I'm not an EU national, would I need a work permit? Yes, you would. Just get your tutor to sign it. That wouldn't be a problem if I were to get the job. Um, where exactly is the restaurant? Well, we have two branches. The one we're recruiting for is in Hillsdon Road. Uh, I don't know that. Uh, how do you spell it, please? It's H I double L. S D U double N E Road. Got that. Thanks. Is it near a bus stop? Yes. The nearest one would probably be just beside the library. Oh, yes, I know it. That'd be fine for me. And could I ask about the pay? We're offering £4.45 an hour. That's very good. My last job was £3.95 an hour. Before you hear the rest of the conversation, you have some time to look at questions 5 to 10.
Now listen and answer questions five to ten. We feel it's pretty good, and we also offer some good fringe benefits. Really? Well, we give you a free dinner, so you eat well. Right. Better than hostel food. <laughs> we certainly hope so, and we also offer extra pay for working on national holidays. Oh, that's a really good perk, isn't it? Yes, we think so. And then, because of the difficulties of getting public transport, if you're working after eleven o'clock, we drive you home. Oh, that's good to know. Well, we'd certainly be interested in inviting you for an interview if you're still interested. Oh yes, certainly. Could I just also ask what qualities you're looking for? Well, for this particular job, we want a clear voice, which you obviously do have. <laughs> Thanks. And you must be able to think quickly, you know. Well, I hope I. So, when could you come in for an interview? We're actually quite quiet tonight. Uh, sorry, I couldn't come tonight or tomorrow. I'm afraid.、Uh, Thursday's okay. That'd be twenty-second of October. Fine. After five p.m. Yes, fine. Would. Six o'clock be okay. Perfect. And could you bring along the names of two referees? Yes, that's fine. No problem. Good. I look forward to seeing you. Oh,、uh, by the way, who should I ask for? Oh yes, of course. Sorry, my name is Samira Manuja. Uh, can you spell that, please? M A N U J A. Okay, I've got that. Thanks very much. Look forward to seeing you later on then. That is the end of section one. You now have half a minute to check your answers. Now turn to section two. Test two. You will hear a number of different recordings, and you will have to answer questions on what you hear. There will be time for you to read the instructions and questions, and you will have a chance to check your work. All the recordings will be played once only. The test is in four sections. At the end of the test, you will be given ten minutes to transfer your answers to an answer sheet. Now turn to section one. Section one. You will hear a student talking to the student accommodation officer at a college. First. You have some time to look at questions one to five. You will see that there is an example that has been done for you. On this occasion only, the conversation relating to this will be played first. Good morning. Can I help you? Yes, I've just been accepted on a course at the university, and I'd like to try and arrange accommodation in the hall of residence. Yes, certainly.、Uh, please sit down. What I'll do is fill in a form with you to find out a little more about your preferences and so forth. Thank you. The student wishes to arrange accommodation in a hall of residence, so hall has been written in the space. Now we shall begin. You should answer the questions as you listen, because you will not hear the recording a second time. Listen carefully and answer questions one to five. 
Good morning. Can I help you? Yes. I've just been accepted on a course at the university, and I'd like to try and arrange accommodation in the Hall of Residence. Yes, certainly. Uh, please sit down. What I'll do is fill in a form with you to find out a little more about your preferences and so forth. Thank you. So, first of all, um, can I take your name? It's Anu Bhatt. Could you spell your name, please? Yes. A N U B H A T T. Thanks. And could I ask your date of birth? The 31st of March, 1972. Thank you. And where are you from? India. Oh, right. And um, what will you be studying? I'm doing a course in nursing. Right, thank you. And how long would you want to stay in Hall, do you think? Well, it'll take three years, but I'd only like to stay in Hall for two. I'd like to think about living outside for the third year. Fine. And what did you have in mind for catering? Do you want to cook for yourself or have all your meals provided? That's full board. Is there something in between? Yes, you can just have evening meal provided, which is half board. That's what I'd prefer. Yes, a lot of students uh, opt for that. Now, with that in mind, do you have any special diet, anything we should know about? Yes, I don't take red meat. No red meat. Before you hear the rest of the conversation, you have some time to look at questions 6 to 10. Now listen and answer questions 6 to 10. Now, thinking about the room itself, we have a number of options. Uh, you can have a single study bedroom or you can have a shared one. These are both what we call simple rooms. The other alternative is to opt for a single bedsit, which actually has more space and better facilities. Uh, there's about £20 a week difference between them. Well... Actually, my grant is quite generous, and I think the bed seat sounds the best option. Lovely. I'll put you down for that, and we'll see what availability is like. Now, can I ask some other personal details which we'd like to have on record? Yes, of course. I wonder if you could let us know what your interests are. This might help us get a closer match for placing you in a particular hall. Um, well, I love the theatre. Right. And I enjoy sports, particularly badminton. Ah, that's worth knowing. Now, what we finish with on the form is really a list from you of what your priorities are in choosing a hall. And we'll do our best to take these into account. Well, the first thing is I'd prefer a hall where there are other mature students, if possible. Yes, we do have halls which tend to cater for slightly older students. Mm. Uh, and I'd prefer to be out of town. That's actually very good for you, because we tend to have more vacancies in out-of-town halls. Ah, lucky. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Anything else? Well, I would like somewhere with a shared area, a, a TV room, for example, or, or something like that. It's a good way to socialise. It certainly is. That's it. Now, we just need a contact telephone number for you. Oh, uh, sure, I'll just find it. Um, it's uh, double six seven five... Four nine. Great. So we'll be in contact with you as soon as possible. That is the end of section one. You now have half a minute to check your answers. Now turn to section 2. K 
Cambridge IELTS 9 by University of Cambridge ESOL Examinations Published by Cambridge University Press This recording is copyright. CD 2 Test 3 You will hear a number of different recordings and you will have to answer questions on what you hear. There will be time for you to read the instructions and questions and you will have a chance to check your work. All the recordings will be played once only. The test is in four sections. At the end of the test, you will be given ten minutes to transfer your answers to an answer sheet. Now turn to section one. Section 1 You will hear a telephone conversation between a travel company employee and a customer. First, you have some time to look at questions 1 to 5. You will see that there is an example that has been done for you. On this occasion only, the conversation relating to this will be played first. Greek Island Holidays, can I help you? Yes, I hope so. I have a friend who's just come back from Corfu and she's recommended some apartments in Aralus. She thought they might be on your list. Aralus, Aralus, let me see. Can you give me the names? Yes, the first Rose Garden Apartments. I'd like to go with another friend in the last week of October. Well, we've got a lovely studio flat available at that time. I'm sure you'd enjoy the entertainment programme there too, with Greek dancing in the restaurant. The entertainment programme offers Greek dancing, so Greek dancing has been written in the space. Now we shall begin. You should answer the questions as you listen, because you will not hear the recording a second time. Listen carefully and answer questions 1 to 5. Greek Island Holidays, can I help you? Yes, I hope so. I have a friend who's just come back from Corfu and she's recommended some apartments in Aralus. She thought they might be on your list. Aralus, Aralus, let me see. Uh, can you give me the names? Yes, the first Rose Garden Apartments. I'd like to go with another friend in the last week of October. Well, we've got a lovely studio flat available at that time. I'm sure you'd enjoy the entertainment programme there too, with Greek dancing in the restaurant. And the cost for each of us? £219. That sounds very reasonable. I'm just jotting down some notes. Now, the second one she mentioned was called Blue Bay. Blue Bay. Yes. In fact, that's very popular and it has some special features. Really? The main attraction is the large swimming pool with salt water. Mm, much healthier, I understand. That's right. And it isn't far from the beach either, only 300 metres. And only around half a kilometre to some shops, so you don't have to be too energetic. Is it much more expensive than the first one? Let me just check. I think at the time you want to go, it's around £260. Uh, no, £275 to be exact. Right, I've got that. Now, there are just two more apartments to ask you about. Um, I can't read my own writing. Something to do with sun, sunshine, is it? I think you meant the sunshade apartments. They're on a mountainside. Any special features? Yes, each room has its own sun terrace and there are shared barbecue facilities. Ooh, sounds lovely. 
Yes, it is rather well equipped. It also provides water sports. It has its own beach. There are facilities for water skiing. Any kite surfing? My friend's quite keen. Not at the hotel, but I'm sure you'll find some in Arillus. There's also satellite TV in the apartments. And how much is that one? Four hundred and ninety pounds with two sharing. You mean two hundred and forty-five pounds each? I'm afraid not. Each person has to pay that amount, and there must be at least two in an apartment. Oh, I don't think that would be within our budget, unfortunately. And the last one sounds a bit expensive too. The grand? Actually, it's quite reasonable. It's an older style house with Greek paintings in every room and a balcony outside. Sounds nice. What are the views like? Well, there are forests all round, and they hide a supermarket just down the road, so that's very useful for all your shopping needs.、Uh, there's a disco in the area too. And the price? Three hundred and nineteen pounds at that time, but if you leave it till November, it goes down by forty percent.、Mm, too late, I'm afraid. Well, why don't I send you a brochure with full details, Miss Nash? But don't worry about that. I'm coming to Upminster soon, and I'll call and get one. I just wanted to get an idea first. Well, that's fine.、Uh, we've got plenty here when you come. Before you hear the rest of the conversation, you have some time to look at questions six to ten. Now listen and answer questions six to ten. If you've got a minute, could I just check a couple of points about insurance? I got one policy through the post, but I'd like to see if yours is better. Fine.、Uh, what would you like to know? Well, the one I've got has benefits, and then the maximum amount you can claim. Is that like yours? Yes, that's how most of them are. Well, the first thing is cancellation. If the holiday is cancelled on the policy I've got, you can claim eight thousand pounds. We can improve on that, Miss Nash.、Uh, for Greek island holidays, our maximum is ten thousand pounds. That's good. Of course, our holiday won't even cost one thousand pounds together. <laughs> It's still sensible to have good cover. Now, if you go to hospital, we allow six hundred pounds. Yes, mine's similar. And we also allow a relative to travel to your holiday resort. My policy just says their representative will help you. You can see there's another difference there. And what happens if you don't get on the plane?、Uh, nothing, as far as I can see on this form. Don't you have a、uh, missed departure? No, I'll just jot that down. We pay up to a thousand pounds for that, depending on the reason. And we're particularly generous about loss of personal belongings, up to three thousand pounds, but not more than five hundred pounds for a single item. Then I'd better not take my laptop. Not unless you insure it separately. Okay. Thanks very much for your time. You've really been helpful. Can I get back to you? Your name is Ben Ludlow. That's L U D L O W. I'm the assistant manager here. I'll give you my number. It's O eight one two six O five four three two one six. But didn't I phone O eight one two six O five six seven two nine four? That's what I've got on the paper. That's the main switchboard. I've given you my direct line. Right. Thank you very much for your time. That is the end of section one. You now have half a minute to check your answers.
Now turn to section 2. Test 4. You will hear a number of different recordings, and you will have to answer questions on what you hear. There will be time for you to read the instructions and questions, and you will have a chance to check your work. All the recordings will be played once only. The test is in four sections. At the end of the test, you will be given ten minutes to transfer your answers to an answer sheet. Now turn to section one. Section one. You will hear a man asking for information about health services in the place where he is living. First, you have some time to look at questions one to six. You will see that there is an example that has been done for you. On this occasion only, the conversation relating to this will be played first. Can I help you? Yes, I've just moved to this area with my wife and children, and I'd like to know where we can all register with a doctor at a health centre. Oh, OK. Uh, well, there's Dr Green at the Harvey Clinic. The woman says the doctor at the Harvey Clinic is called Dr. Green, so green has been written in the space. Now we shall begin. You should answer the questions as you listen, because you will not hear the recording a second time. Listen carefully and answer questions one to six. Can I help you? Yes. I've just moved to this area with my wife and children, and I'd like to know where we can all register with a doctor at a health centre. Oh, OK. Uh, well, there's Dr Green at the Harvey Clinic. We always recommend her for babies because she's very good with them and she runs a special clinic. Oh, uh, actually, my youngest child is five, so that wouldn't be any good for us. Right. Is there anywhere else I could try? Yes, the Eshkol Health Practice is the next one on my list. How do you spell that? E-S-H-C-O-L. And it's Dr Fuller who has space on his list. The clinic only opened a year ago, so the facilities are all very modern. That sounds good. Mm. And it's particularly good if you're busy during the day because they also do appointments in the evening. Mm. They're closed on Saturday, though. The only other place on the list is the health centre on Shaw Lane. You can register with Dr Gormley. Uh, that's G-O-R-M-L-E-Y. He's new there, but the centre has a very good reputation. Oh, yes. I think I know the road. That would be the best one. Thanks. Could you tell me, will all their services be free? Uh, there are usually some small charges that doctors make. Uh, let me see what it says about the Shaw Lane Centre. If you need to be vaccinated before any trips abroad, you won't have to pay for this. Uh, what else? The Sports Injury Treatment Service operates on a paying basis, as does the Nutritional Therapy Service. Mm -hmm. Some health centres do offer alternative therapies like homeopathy as part of their pay-to-use service. Shaw Lane are hoping to do this soon. I think they may start with acupuncture. Oh. And finally, if you need to prove you're healthy or haven't had any serious injuries before a new employer will accept you, you can get a free fitness check-up there. But you'd most likely have to pay for insurance medicals, though. OK, thanks. Before you hear the rest of the conversation, you have some time to look at questions 7 to 10.
Now listen and answer questions 7 to 10. You might also be interested to know the centre is running a pilot scheme of talks for patients. I've got the list here. Actually, they look very interesting. What sort of things? Well, the first one's about giving up smoking. It's next week, the 25th of February at 7pm, and that's in room four. It says the talk will stress the health benefits, particularly for people with asthma or heart disease. That sounds very interesting. There's also a talk for families with children. It's on healthy eating and takes place on the 1st of March at 5 o'clock. Will that be at the health centre? Um, actually, it's at the primary school on Shaw Lane. I imagine they're inviting the parents of pupils there. It says here, all welcome. Hmm. I might go to that if I have time. There's a couple of other talks. One giving advice about how to avoid injuries while doing exercise. Mm -hmm. It's on the 9th of March. Oh, it's a late afternoon talk at 4.30. And it'll be in room six. It also says the talk is suitable for all ages. And finally, there's a talk called Stress Management, which is on the... That is the end of section one. You now have half a minute to check your answers. Now turn to section 2.